The National Weather Service in Logan County has confirmed a tornado did touch down yesterday in the Dot and Keysburg area. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Darby Bean. I know many of you were following our show last night with severe weather coverage, and today, thankfully, there's no more severe weather to report, but unfortunately, there have been several reports from damage yesterday. Our Anna Medina was in Logan County today and spoke with family members after that tornado in the Dot community claimed the life of a loved one. She joins us in studio tonight. Thank you, Darby. Family and neighbors gathered today to help the Cones family in Logan County attempt to pick up years of memories after a tornado destroyed their home. Some even traveled from Lexington. All we could hear was him talking and saying, oh my God, oh my God, what's happened, what's happened? A family continues to mourn the loss of their loved one in Logan County. The National Weather Service confirmed an EF2 tornado touched down in Adairville on Saturday. This is what John Combs' home looks like a day after the storm came through. Mark Combs described the phone call that he received from his father, John, an accidental warning call. He didn't realize he had dialed us, I guess. He had tried to dial 911, and I think he accidentally dialed my cell phone, and all I, all I could hear was him looking for my mom. The husband actually was in the basement at the time, putting some, uh, putting some plastic on a door when he, he said all of a sudden the wind just blew completely back into the basement. And she was upstairs, and when he kept hollering her for her, she actually did not answer, and that's when he went upstairs and found her. 79-year-old Dallas Jane Combs, John's wife, was pronounced dead by the coroner. Officials say Mrs. Combs was in the process of heading to the basement to take shelter when the roof of her home collapsed on her. At one point, the phone call went dead, and then a few minutes later, the EMT worker called us back on the same phone. And that's when the EMT worker told my wife that my mom was, was dead. The couple's daughter, Tammy, had just gone with her fiance to visit her parents and decided to head back to Bowling Green. Shortly after making it back, Tammy found out about the tragic loss and drove back to be with the family. We found the devastation and they were just, uh, they were just taking Gene out of the rubble. John was taken to a neighbor's home soon after. Uh, he was injured a little bit, but not bad. He didn't want to go to the doctor or the hospital. Mother Nature's fury taking the life of one, as the family is now left picking up the pieces. Now the Combs family just wants everyone to take this incident as a lesson. And when you hear sirens or warnings, to be cautious and take them seriously. Thank you, Anna. Our thoughts go out to that family. 